One of the great landmarks in the American Civil Rights Movement was the 1954 Brown v. Board of Education Supreme Court case. In this case, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled unanimously that racial segregation in public schools violated the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. This decision also declared that separate educational facilities for white and African American students were inherently unequal. This case proved to be the catalyst for the Civil Rights Movement. What is barely known, however, is that in 1946, eight years before the Brown v. Board of Ed, there was another case involving a half Puerto Rican, half Mexican girl that actually laid the foundation for the success of Brown v. Board of Ed. This case is known as Mendes v. Westminster. The story begins in the 1940s with Gonzalo Mendes, an immigrant from Mexico who had a successful agricultural business, and his wife, Felicitas Mendes, a native of Juncos, Puerto Rico. They had just moved from Santa Ana, California to Westminster with their children to attend to a farm they were renting. There were only two schools in the area, Hoover Elementary and 17th Street Elementary. The schools in the city were segregated between Hispanics and whites. The Mendes' three children, which included Sylvia Mendes, attended Hoover Elementary, a two-room wooden shack in the middle of the city's Mexican neighborhood, along with other Hispanics. The other school, which was reserved for whites, 17th Street Elementary School, was made with brick and concrete and had a nice lawn with rows of palm and pine trees. This school also provided far better teaching resources and educational benefits. The Mendes family wanted the best possible education for their children, and so they decided to enroll their children at this school. In 1943, eight-year-old Sylvia Mendez accompanied her aunt, Sally Vidari, her brothers, and cousins to enroll at the school. Her aunt was told by the school officials that her children who had light skin would be permitted to enroll, but not Sylvia Mendez or her brothers because they were dark-skinned and had a Hispanic surname. Not happy with the situation, Gonzalo Mendez and his wife, Felicitas, decided to wage a battle which would change the California public education system. They met with community leaders to come up with a plan of action. Initially, they received little support from local Latino organizations. However, on March 2nd, 1945, Gonzalo Mendez and four other Hispanic fathers filed a lawsuit in federal court in Los Angeles against four Orange County school districts on behalf of about 5,000 Hispanic American school children. During the trial, the Westminster School Board argued that it was mainly a case of language issues. However, that argument fell apart after one of the children testified in a highly articulate English. On February 18, 1946, Judge Paul J. McCormick ruled in favor of Mendez and his co-plaintiffs. The school district appealed the decision. Several prominent civil rights organizations, including the ACLU and the NAACP, joined the appellate case. A year later, on April 15, 1947, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld the ruling in favor of the Hispanic families. This led to the then governor of California, Earl Warren, to desegregate all public schools and public spaces in the state. Mendes v. Westminster set the foundation for ending segregation in the United States, an important catalyst for the civil rights movement. Thurgood Marshall, a key figure in the civil rights movement who would later be appointed a U.S. Supreme Court Justice in 1967, was the lead NAACP attorney in the 1954 Brown case. Marshall's amicus brief filed for Mendez on behalf of the NAACP contained the arguments he would use later in the 1954 Brown v. Board of Ed case. The Mendez case also influenced the California governor at the time, Earl Warren, who in 1952 became the Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Warren was a presiding member when Thurgood Marshall argued during the 1954 Brown v. Board of Ed. 
Many have tried to discredit Hispanic people by stating that they have benefited from the civil rights movement but have never contributed to it. The Mendez versus Westminster case not only demonstrates Hispanic contributions to the civil rights movement, it also demonstrates they were among the pioneers. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.